Hey guys and welcome to a brand new Minecraft 1.10 mod pack. Yes, the version of Minecraft you guys are playing and loving right now. We have made a mod pack for. I say we. Landstrider has made a mod pack and he has graciously invited me to come and play on his server. In fact, I met up with him earlier today. Should we uh, cut back and have a look at some of that footage? Hey, hey, welcome. Thank you. Thank welcome, you for the welcome. Welcome to the future. <laughs> this is the future. Many, many years on. Uh, the, I see the grass has done well. Yes. Well, you've uh, <laughs> you succeeded in bringing civilization back to the planet, right? Yes, yeah, well, yeah, I well started then, with the mains, worked my way through. <laughs> well, then you decided to go ahead and go back to sleep. Well, I've got my work was done. I needed to return to, to deep sp deep sleep yep. and uh, so see what else. Civilizations have risen and fallen, risen, fallen, risen, fallen, risen, fallen, risen, fallen. <laughs> Many generations have passed. Yes. Another 10,000 years have passed and you've awakened again. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. I, I knew there were other people around in the world. I just I hadn't seen them, but here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, cool. the best feature of this place, I mean, obviously it's just really cool looking from a distance. Oh, I found, I found some pressure plates. It's yes. always good. And it's it's secure so that you can, you know, hang out here. Uh, AFK, be safe when the night comes. You know, re yeah. record your intro, you know, be ready for the when the sun morning comes so you can go out and explore, you know. Yeah, yeah. I wanted a safe spawn area for the server. But the best Let's feature inside. The best feature of this place is the elevator. Check out the elevator. This is oh, an RF, nice. RF tools elevator. Okay, do, do I need to call it? Let's... Okay. Uh, the elevator block is actually the lapis block. So Okay, wonderful. Here it's we go. Oh, oh, that is smooth. Good sound effects as well. Yes. So I've gone up one floor to the restaurant. Hey, Ivan the Warrior. Okay, go further up. See what see what else is going on. Oh, it's very, very nice. Yeah, I really like that elevator. I was like, I'm actually, in the next update, I'm going to make the recipe for the elevator a little bit cheaper. Okay, yeah, so that you can use it, lose, you'll use it a little bit earlier game. That's oh it, man, I think nice. I need to turn my draw distance up just a little bit. I can't quite see the floor from out here. Well, you know you can't. You're, it the this tower goes all the way to the build height. All the way to build height. Yeah, cool, yeah. cool. So. I can see the tops of trees just, and there is a stairway down, but I don't think I'm gonna. No, take you don't want to take that. That would be. It would take a while. <laughs> it, takes uh, a while. It, might, it might be part of my keep fit routine at some point. Uh, <laughs> oh, it goes down fast. Yeah, that's the other wonderful thing is you can go down very fast with it and you don't take no damage. Yeah, like when we were just falling then, I was like, ooh, is this, is this going to hurt me when we get to the bottom? But I was like, no, no, it's a, it's an elevator. It's not going to hurt. So uh, where where are people living at the moment? Well, um, let's see. We went off to the west. It's pretty, pretty far to the west. Let's see, how far west is it? Oh, it's because I'm under something. <laughs> I, don't you hate that when Journey Map like, wants to show you the cave just because you happen to be in a building? It's like, oh, yeah, oh, you've got a roof. Here, let me show you th seven layers down. It's like, yeah, cheers. <laughs> yeah, we're way off to the west. And we, uh, we a couple of thousand our... blocks. Yeah. Cool, um, cool. About 2,000, actually, yeah. Okay, sweet. I might go striking off to the north, maybe. No, the Canadians not... all went north. <laughs> oh, did all the Canadians go? Well, that makes sense, really. They're, they're looking for their native habitat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I might try and find some tiny little island in the middle of uh, an ocean somewhere then. <laughs> I don't know where. Uh, well, there's actually an ocean to the west. I mean, Is there I... an ocean to the west? Yeah. And a little, I mean, the ocean continues, let's see, continues um northwest from here there's a ton of ocean yeah okay in fact cool. there's an there's a couple of islands that i passed like if you're really serious about living on an island in the middle of the ocean i can show you some great yeah, spots. An, island, an island might be fun yeah let's let's try that in fact that was one of my strategies was to find a very small island in the middle of the ocean uh Just dig it up uh no, oh, yeah. then you spawn the you spawn the MCA village right on the island, and it's nice and flat and big and and. Ooh, that that's a very good plan. You, I may have uh, may may steal that one. And then I was, you, I was trying uh, to decide whether to to go with the village or go with the family. Uh, I'm I'm not sure which one I want. I mean, yeah. the village is nice. You get the guards and stuff like that. I can't remember. Is this? Yeah, no, this is not that. This is the pond. 
Oh, when I first saw these uh, these Rhinos. lizards, I can't remember the the Maccas, Yeah, yeah. I, I almost thought we had Jurassic Craft for a little bit. I got I got a little, little bit excited, and I was like, oh no, it's just the, the what's it mobs. <laughs> no, I don't think Jurassic Craft is up, upgraded to one ten yet. Has it not? Oh, that's unfortunate. I really really I would have liked to have got stuck into that one. You, um, yeah, I mean, there's a few mods that I wanted to have that I just can't because they're not updated. Like uh, like gravity. There's no gravity. I'm sorry. Uh, got... I'm kind of happy with the lack of gravity, <laughs> to be fair. Uh, like, I'm not best at roofs at the at the best of times, but with the gravity, it's like, oh, now I've got to think about support beams. <laughs> yeah. Um, by the way, that's a... Uh... That's double spawner area. There's a skeleton and a and a zombie spawner in there. Don't don't go oh, there at night. Don't go no, there. No, no, night. But it's something to take advantage of at some point. Something killed a uh, dino there. Oh, I'm gonna nab the food. <laughs> yeah, it's a, definitely a good idea because uh, food's a little scarce at the early game. Yes, food's a little scarce, and you got uh, spice of life to deal with. So oh, the diminishing returns. Yes, yeah, that that, that'll be fun. It kicks in fairly fast. That's a dungeon. That's the dungeon that me and Dornell raided a little bit. That with, one. Yeah, in our first episode. So, you know about two people can ride in a boat now, right? Oh, yeah, of course they can. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I'll just go and make myself a boat. But, of course, I can just jump in with. 1.10 was a glorious update. I can. I know why a lot of people were a little bit annoyed with some of the things in it. but just... I, I, I can't. After I tried it, I can't. See that I'm unhappy with any of it. I like I like all the things that it did with the combat and the boats. I mean, no, yeah, I, the, I don't know the about combat like, in particular. Combat. It took a minute to get used to, but once you got used to it, I felt like it was actually better and easier to kill stuff. Yeah, I definitely see where they were coming from with the like the whole balancing issues because beforehand it was just fastest ping wins. Yeah. Um. And and like you know that was good for people on on decent networks, but some of us live in like little backwaters that can't get good connections to the internet. So. <laughs> So here's yeah, a, that here's was a very little good. here's a little de like I mean that's a deserted island. I mean, yeah, that is yeah that's uh, not, not befitting one. a man of a man of my stature, you know. There's <laughs> another one up here that's kind of like a tropical, uh, and that's what I'm trying to take you to. Nice, we've got a load of seaweed going on the go. That's nice. Hopefully, they will make uh make the bottom of the ocean something to to go see. Yeah, there should be some coral um biomes too. Ah, good. Good. I think I might make myself a small underwater uh, dome city at some point. That's something oh, that to aim for. Yeah, so I've been thinking about like what my build style was going to be during this this season because obviously it, you need you need to have something to work towards. And a friend of mine suggested sort of fifth element style, that not quite dystopian, not quite utopian future. I'm like, yeah, yeah that that works. I like that. We could definitely definitely build upon that. Oh yeah, that would work work out very well. Here here's the the island chain I was talking about. Oh, wonderful. It is actually very nice, isn't it? There's a couple of islands, good tree bases. Whoop. Oh, yes. This is the little area I was talking about. You got a little bit you got a little bit of trees to start with and you know. Yeah, enough, enough wood to get going with. There's even cows around. I might have to go on a, a mission for chickens or something, but that's that's all good. There's even sheep now, back there. If you do the village, just remember that the majority of the village extends away from you to the west. To the west. Okay, yeah. I will bear that in mind. I might even do it on that little plateau over there. So, yeah, no, that, this actually should be cool for you. Of course, now the sun's going down and you're going uh, <laughs> to get in trouble now. But going to uh, be in danger here. <laughs> that's all right. I can build myself a little dirt house. Well, I've got one block but, of dirt. But... Um, shoot, I don't even got a bed with me. I had a bed back at my place. I could sleep. Once I got there, we got Morpheus on the server. So, okay, cool, cool. Uh, it's always good having the uh, the one sleep option. It's nothing quite as bad as trying to get a whole server full of people to coordinate. It's yeah, just... yeah. <laughs> oh, zombie on the loose. He's behind you. Is he? Well, I'll stay here and watch your back a little bit while you get a shelter at least. <laughs> Well, I suppose I oh, can actually. Because there's that are... thing right there. You see that thing right there? Oh wow! Okay. It, well, it'll it, it'll it'll munch on you if it gets too close. <laughs> right. I need to make my crafting bench, but I think after that I can put my uh, my village home. Right. My village down. Uh, your crafting bench and a and a wooden pickaxe, and then you can get your crystal ball up. Okay. Let's do that quick then. 
well within the realms of a uh, seasoned Minecrafter such as myself. <laughs> yeah, then in the quest book... So that's the quest I've just done over here. We're not going to claim that for now, but I am going to get this crystal ball and go over towards this little sandbar all the way out here. Oh, there appears to be offensive water mobs. Um, there are, but these ones aren't. Okay. Those are just uh, crustaceans. Okay. <laughs> Ugly little things, but yeah, we we can deal with them. Yeah, they're not they're not hostile. They'll, I think they'll run away from you too if you try to attack them. You okay, gotta knock the shell off first. Ah, uh, okay. So I think here is the place. I am male. I prefer females. My name is just Twitchy, uh, and I live in a village. Are you stood uh, well clear of the village spawn? I'm. I'm good. Tweetopia lives again! Wee! <laughs> this is a nice little area. Uh, I'm going to go out through the front door. <laughs> now, the beautiful part about uh, doing it the way you just did it is the entire edge of the village can be tilled for garden. <laughs> yes, yes it can. Uh, somewhere around, I should have some nice guards protecting this area, shouldn't we? Yeah, there are. They're, they're around here somewhere. I got a There's fisherman. One. There's one. I see one. He's outside the back. Uh, out back here. Brave fool. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's like a female, I think. He's got a woman guard. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. There's normally a couple around for my my small experimentations. Yeah, I'm sure he's here somewhere. And if not, they'll uh, they'll here be they here. Are. Yeah, they're all back here for some reason. Well, this is, this is one of the things I found with the guards. They do tend to clump together because um, obviously, like the the mobs will spawn in a specific place, and they'll all like random path their way towards it, and just end up in the same spot. It's a little annoying, but I'm sure we can figure out ways to fix that. Now, the first thing I usually like to do is go around and rearrange the fences so that nothing can get in, in the village. But I'm gonna let you handle all that. It looks like oh, you yeah. got a good start. I'm gonna head back to my place and. Uh... Okay, well, thank you very much for the tour. Thank you very much for the invite to the server, of course. Uh, yeah, I hope I will you see have you. a good time on here. <laughs> oh, I intend to. I very much intend to. Thanks very much, man. Can't wait to see what you build, especially now that you have chisels and bits and all that. Yeah, stuff. Oh, yeah. Man. No, it's just, you can um, crazy build some crazy good stuff. I wish we had carpenter blocks in this version, but... I think the first thing I want to do is level this village and then make a... a gigantic building to uh, house all these people in i think one giant building is a good place to start with the villagers oh that'd be um, awesome and you should be able to use chisel to get some really futuristic looking building too yeah i, I haven't even looked let's let's have a look in here chisel i always spell it the wrong way around oh we're gonna have to check the individual blocks that's that's a little bit annoying check, but cool <laughs> check factory yeah there's just so many of them check factory blocks technical blocks and um Get the other industrial. I think it's industrial blocks. Uh, yeah, oh, technical definitely, blocks. Definitely, fact, definitely factory and technical. Factory technical. There, well, and look, you've got a. Oh, dude, you got you. You were talking about having a. You you've got a coral biome straight back from from your house. Oh, have I? Oh, yeah, look at that, on, just over on, there. Come yeah. Here, come here. Take a ride in a boat. Oh, the boat's all the way over there. Hey, thanks. Oh, yes. Oh, look at the colors. Oh, that's amazing. I might even just quickly bail out for a second just to show the video a little bit better. Oh, that. Such color. Uh, and then, I can't and see then, underground, underwater, unfortunately. And but. then it goes straight into a seaweed forest. Oh, oh that was... that's amazing. That's a nice little uh, mountain over there to take advantage of. Yeah, this is, this is a very nice place to be building. Very, very nice place to be building. Yeah, and yes, he could come over this way. He, we almost, we almost decided to build in that mountain, but Did we, went little, we, we went a little further. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. is a very nice mountain. You could easily build, um, you know, like a terraced type structure along the side of it there. Yes, and it would look, much. and it would be awesome because the terrace structure would have a view of the of the of the lighted coral garden. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. A little ocean view. 
I was going to say little ocean view flat, but no, a, a massive ocean view penthouse. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, you got you got a nice you got a nice little area to work with. You could make like a you could make like a one of those um, underwater tunnel things. Oops, what happened? Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> I, I thought something had gone weird. The boat had stopped moving, but I was like, oh, it'll catch up in a second, and then suddenly I you get, log out. <laughs> I got disconnected for some for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> it was weird. Oh, I can't even get out of the boat. Oh, I'm in control of the boat. Ah. Oh, now I have to remember how this works. It's one way for one, one way for the other. Oh, no, they changed it from that, didn't they? Uh, there was this snapshot of 1.10 came out where you had control of the oars individually and you had to put both, push both at the same time to move them. <laughs> that would have... Uh, that doesn't sound very good. It was interesting. It, literally, it was only in existence for one snapshot, and then they were like, no, we're, we're not going to do that. What do you think of that storyline, story stuff? Yeah, I was having a look through them. Um... Yeah, well, that's, written by, uh, that's written by a young kid that's a follower of Dragon Fu. Oh, really? Okay. Cool. So yeah. I did, it's, it's not exactly my fiction, so I did edit it a little bit to get, you know, to get it into where I, you know, get the story where I wanted it. But yeah, I mean, I've only ever read the first bit, as I have just now as well. I'm going to save it for a piece to camera, I think. Um, but yeah, it's, it's good. It, I, I think it's fitting with the theme. Uh, that's the main bit. Yeah, I was trying to come... I want You know, I wanted to include a little bit of magic mods in this, but I wanted to come up with a good technical explanation. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I love the nano machines thing. That that was definitely a good good way to go with it. And I'm going to be doing a lot of computer craft. Open yeah. computer craft. No, that's good. That's good. I want to... I, because I, I, keep, I keep trying to get into it, but like... Usually, like the series that I'm trying to get into it on, just kind of I kind of lose interest or whatever. Yeah, it falls down. Move, or need point. to move on for whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I know exactly what you're saying there. Well, swim up, swim. swim. You need it there. Burst through the ocean to yourself. There we go. Hey. Cool. Just gonna go back to my island and then I'll uh, let you have the boat back. It's <laughs> cool. Yeah, that was a weird disconnect. And then like it was like you must restart the game. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Uh... Yeah, the the whole reset of the game is always kind of the worst one. It's much better when you can just go, oh, I'm going back into the server now. Uh, shift. There we go. Well, thank you very much, mate. Yep. I will definitely see you around. Yeah, you're actually not that far from me, so. Yeah, good, good, good. Uh, we'll we'll make some sort of water transportation system or something. It'll be fun. <laughs> we'll make an aqueduct in the air. Oh, I'm already coming up with ideas. <laughs> <laughs> on a waypoint in your place far go. Oh, that is a good idea. I should do that myself. It's not too far from spawn either if I need to meet up with people. All right, that's good. That's good. Oh, that was a great time walking around with Landstrider. And as you heard, I have more than a few plans to be getting going on with here. But there are a few things that I really need to take care of before I can do any of the building or mining or anything like that. That is, of course, trying to get myself fed. Uh, I have a few of these dino meats on me here. What are they? Maca maca meat. Um, I don't know if that's how you're supposed to pronounce it, but that is how I'm going to pronounce it. No seeds. There are some seeds. Okay. And I was looking for these wheat seeds. Not really to be eating with, but because there is a quest to be done. If we come in here and be the beginning once more. So we did this fresh start. This was literally just get uh, an oak wood and then make a craft bench and pickaxe. We get to have... 10 experience and I'm gonna get some steak because food is the issue at this point in the game no no noise uh, not no noise no song to be sung for the completion of these quests here this com this quest this is literally a tick spot tick box quest you come in you tick the box and you get given this crystal ball the crystal ball as you may or may not have noticed was where this village sprang from now this is from minecraft comes alive same place that the villagers come from these guys have all sorts of weird uh, interactions that we can do now if i open up her the, uh, her menu here just by right clicking same as any other normal villager you can see we've got the mood and how, what her personality is here I'm not sure we are not married I, I'm not going to get married too early on in this game that's not really what I want to do we can interact with her and that's like chat joke gift flirt all this sort of stuff but I'm not going to do that now we can get her to follow me we can tell her to set a home we've got the trade that we can do as normal I've picked up a 
poppy from somewhere. I hope I didn't click that out of there. Um, and yeah, everything is generally all good. So, with those quests done, where did I actually end up putting my workbench? Hold on a sec. It is, of course, exactly where I left it whilst chatting with Landstrider right across here. There is a creeper over there, so I'm not going to go get too involved with this. You can see that I've made my village directly at water level here. Now, this is a bit short-sighted. Climate change is a problem. <laughs> no, it's not really a problem in this this world. It is a problem in real life. Don't think I'm denying that. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to have... Might have a bit of problem. Probably not. We could just go around and farm everywhere. Speaking of farm, the reason that I went and got this crafting bench, if we pop this down here and have a look in the quest book again... Uh, down here we've got feed oneself. We got the seeds. The next thing we need to do is make the wooden hoe. I would prefer if this was a stone hoe, to be fair, because at this point in the game I could very easily have had stone. I could dig down and get stuff, uh, get stone from underground. But there we go, wooden hoe. That is another quest completed. So if we come in here, we get to choose melon, pumpkin, or lettuce. I'm actually going to go for melon because pumpkin, relatively common on the floor, you know? You know what I'm saying? There's some other quests to get going on with here. But what I'm going to do now is quickly make myself a small farm on this edge here. This is not a permanent structure. Oh, no, no. Not in any way, shape, or form. As I was explaining to uh, uh, to Landstrider, I want to clear off this, this place and make what's known as an arcology. It's a mix between architecture and ecology. It's a great big building that basically has everything inside it that you need. It's going to be big. It is going to be absolutely massive. Um, I don't think we've got the room on this bit of land that I want to actually build the building on. Maybe we'll start with a small building, a little 30 by 40. Yeah, little 30 by 40 should get us started. But I'm going to plant all this stuff up and then I'm going to go underground and try and find myself some uh, cobble. I think the best place to go for... Probably that hole over there. I will go and check that out in a second. I'm not sure exactly what is over there. Let me just plant all these up. Okay, I'm going to go for a swim. Swimming might not be the best activity to do when you are on semi-low hunger. But I'm going to definitely live with it. There is a gap in the wall defence there. Should we do something? Look, there's another hole here. What, what's all these holes about? Oh, this one goes down almost exactly where I need it to. Oh, look, there's a little stairway here. and every Oh, I'm going to take advantage of this. Oh, you know I am. Uh, if I can actually make a stairwell to make use of. All right, so yeah, I'm just going to dig around, get some materials, and I will be back. So it was a good haul. Unfortunately, it cost me a lot of health, but that's no biggie. Uh, I made myself a bed here, and that means I want to go and do something. First, I want to introduce you guys to Garfield here. Garfield the Fletcher, my good buddy who is putting me up. Now, we're going to go do this quickly because I have noticed we are running out of time. So I'm going to grab this bit of wheat, and we're going to go for a little wander over this way. There are a few cattle animals over here and I wish to put them all the way over there. Okay, delivery done. I should imagine Garfield's going to be okay with this. In fact, he was watching on the entire time, so I don't see any reason why he wouldn't have interjected. That guy over there decided that swimming was much more important than coming along and joining the party. So, you know, there's always one around somewhere. And off over that way, I believe there are more sheep, uh, not more sheep, more cows, because we've got the single one right here and I want some more. But that's all going to be stuff for next time, including the building of the massive arcology that i have been hinting on about but i will see you then when we're gonna do that don't forget to like and subscribe on this first of the new series Woo! bye i've got my mouth inside my body mm.